Hey guys, welcome back to 7th Stand User. Last time we dealt with two different fights. We dealt with the Darby fight and with the Whole Horse and Boingo, or Boingo fight. So, a little bit of a pain. Not the Whole Horse one. It was more of the, the Darby one that kind of gave me, you know, made me go into the wiki and have to deal with stuff. Because if you don't know what to do, you'll be super lost. But anyway, now we're here in, I guess, southern Cairo, I guess. So we're just kind of sitting around. So let's go talk to Iraq. There's this one guy I see around in the hotel a lot. I can't tell whether he's rich or a beggar. If you want to see him, just drop by the hotel every so and often. You should be able to find him that way. Well, Iraqi is actually giving us advice here. He, There is something the game wants you to do. It is really dumb. I guess the only way you would know is if you actually, like, uh, did this, or if you looked at the guide. Walk in and out, and in and out, and in and out. I know this is annoying. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna be done with this. You have to do this 13 times. Yes, 13 times. I guess maybe you just get so frustrated from talking to everybody else that you just go back inside repeatedly and you end up in this situation. So come on. Come on. Oh, come on now. I really want to see a fat dude. The group fervently continued their search, but in the end, none of them were able to locate Dio's mansion. Man, today's a scorcher. I haven't bathed since yesterday. This is going to ruin my handsome image. Random dude. Man with sunglasses. Hmm? What do you want? You got a problem with me? Man, you're dense. I'm telling you to get out. You're a foreigner. Who said you could beg here? Huh? Oh, you, you poor out-of-towner. Here, it isn't much, but take this. The man gave Ponoref some change. Ah! ah! Why you? This is my turf. Huh? Turf? Hey, Ponoref, don't just sit there. Give that man that money now. This guy's a beggar? I'm sorry, sir. My friend here isn't familiar with the city. Why didn't you just say so? It's not businesslike. In Cairo, there are organizations of beggars, each with their own territory. It's a proper job with salaries and everything. Okay. Why can't we have that here in America? I want to be able to sit on the street and just beg for money, get the money, and then get paid to get the money. It's like I get a. It's like I get tips for begging. <laughs> why, why can't do I get? What kind of benefits does they got? They got four hundred one k. I need a four hundred one k with my begging job. Islam teaches that those who give to the needy are admitted into paradise. It may seem strange, but without these rules, the beggars won't would fight amongst themselves and cause utter utter chaos. Tch, my pride is hurt, though. Can I really earn more by pretending to be a foreigner? I'll do that from now on. By the way, I feel like I've seen you somewhere. You're not Avdal the fortune teller, are you? I heard that he was a, that there was a man out for your life, and you fled to Japan. Actually, those good information channels are why I've been searching for you. We need a favor. We'll pay handsomely, of course. Do you recognize the building in this picture? We need to get there in a hurry. The beggar tossed his shroud, revealing a suit and a tie underneath. He's a he's a goddamn businessman. I'll quit her. I'll quit her. <laughs> I'll quit work early today. I'll have your building in three hours. Wait here. <laughs> he's got a car. The beggar hopped into a parked luxury car and sped away. Man, we need that here in America. I need to just be able to sit on the street like an asshole and ask for money, go home, and record the backlog. Why can't America be as cool as Egypt, and then also be as misogynistic as Egypt? I don't know if Egypt is misogynistic. I have no clue. I don't know shit about Egypt, other than they've got a really cool job I want to be. I know what I want to be in the future. A fucking beggar. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Iggy? Huh? Now that you mention it. I don't know where Iggo good. Meanwhile, Iggy... Has a hard time fading in. Truck, 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 truck. 
dog. Slurp. He just glares at them. And the two dogs are scared shitless. Because Iggy's just that cool. And then they just, they cry. They cry. And Iggy is tired of life. Flap, flap. And they both get confused. On the other side of the gate, the sound of a bird flapping its wings could be heard. That rhymed. Glee. <laughs> and then they start to get angry at a door. They, uh, and then they die. There's a lot of yip and a yip going on. And Iggy's confused. So I'm not going to make all these dog noises, because I think that's dumb. Above the ice, above the ice, above the gate, two dogs had their heads impaled on icicles. Hmm? The bodies were dragged underneath the gate. No doubt about it. This is the place. Heh. <laughs> Only it took me two hours, too. There's nothing in this city I can't find. No! No, bigger man! No! Huh? Whoa! Ah! No! He was my favorite character! This bird. It's a stand user, just like me. It's a stand made of ice. It's guarding this mansion. Trying to erase anyone who might enter. Which means its next target is me! I, I must have accidentally found that place that Joseph and the others are looking for. That Dio guy's house. So that, that must be Dio's watchdog. Or watchbird, rather. Yipe. You've got to be kidding me. I could care less about Dio. I was brought to Egypt against my will. Why would I want to risk my neck to help out? I just want to live peacefully, stress-free life. Maybe meet a cute female dog and live out the rest of my life in the laps of, of l luxury. I don't want to deal with this one bit. It, in this situation, the best thing to do is play dumb. <laughs> Just starts making noises. Huh? What? What's this waggy thing? Looks tasty. It's fast. Why you? I'm gonna get you. Come, come here. <laughs> He's just acting like an idiot. My head is spinning. Yipe. Ouch. I slipped. My aching head. <laughs> Those eyes. I can't figure out what's going on in that bird brain of his. Listen, pal. If this comes to blows, you can't beat my stand. I'm sick of playing dumb. I've got nothing to do with Dio, so go home, you dumb bird. Finally, he's gone. What a nutcase. Seems like he's lost interest in me, though. Guess he'll only attack people who want to get into the mansion. If Joseph and the others want in, they're gonna have, they're gonna have their work cut out for them. Well, it's not my problem. Rex, Duke, here, boys. Rex, Duke, where are you? Oh, have you seen my dogs? Their names are Rex and Duke. What do you ask me for? I'm a dog. I can't talk, moron. Oh, th those collars. This belongs to Rex, but why is it here? It's bloody. Rex and Duke, huh? Must have been those two dogs from before. Rex, Duke. Hey, wait a minute. He's not thinking of going under the gate, is he? He's gonna get himself killed. Rex, Duke, are you in there? Uh, it's got nothing to do with me. Why should I care if a human kid dies? It's a survival of the fittest, after all. Dumb people get picked off. I don't need this kind of hassle. See ya. Rex, Duke, where are you? Come on, here. Crunch, 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 chew, chew, chew. The child laid his eyes on Pet Shop, who was chewing the dog's heads to bits. Ah, uh, he's eating them. And then Bird, and then he cries. Give me a break. How can I, how can I not save a kid? Who likes dogs? Re Rex, Duke, what happened? Hurry, you idiot, run, scram! You can't help your dogs if you're dead, if they are dead. You wanna get eaten too? Let me take it from here. Iggy. Pet Shop wants to fight. All right, well, I haven't used much of Iggy. I don't really use him all that much, but you can't, I don't think you can win this fight, really. Play dumb. 
Uh, I don't even know what his strongest attack is. Seems that most of his attacks are close range, so he's not going to be able to do much. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what would do the most damage. <gasps> Seems like chew to bits is the best thing. I'm gonna try. Pet Shop laughed in the enemy's eyes. Let's see. I need to make sure I know what I'm doing here. Uh... Let's see. Uh... Um... I'm trying to see what's going to go on. Uh... So, there's two ways you can win this fight. First way, we're not going to be able to win. I don't think that's going to happen. Book it. Damn it, this goddamn bird! Hmm. What? Did he just smile? I thought I just... I just saw that stiff beak twist into a smile. I didn't know birds could do that. Uh, what? Something's not right. The air. It's getting colder. The ice is coming out of the ground. Sh shit, I should have paid attention. My feet are stuck. My Stan's feet are stuck too. This is bad. Hmm? Got away somehow. Huh. Huh. Uh, mm. His ice took the skin right off my feet. <sighs> if I'd known this would happen, I would have just ditched the kid. His stand isn't one to be messed with. It's more than just ice. There must be more to it than I even know. I gotta get away from here. What? Ah! There's like a beeping noise outside my window, and I fucking hate it. I'm probably gonna go outside after this episode is done to kill someone, like usual, in the sewer below the manhole. Damn it, that bird doesn't let up. But a bird's a bird, after all. He can't follow me down here. God, this place stinks. I'd only have to wait here until he leaves, but... Huh? What? What is this bird? Iggy, no! Hmm. Sup? Her! You didn't think you killed me, did you? That was my stand, the fool! Man, you must really be a bird brain to fall for that old trick. <laughs> You're bleeding quite a bit. You better off staying put. I don't care about your master anyway. Let's just call this a draw. You hit me pretty hard with those ice missiles, after all. Pet Shop licked the blood off its wing and spat. What's your problem? You think you're Bruce Lee or something? Come on, I said I wouldn't go near your mansion again. Just knock it off. So, so this is what your stand really looks like. And you stopped the bleeding with ice. Ah! This isn't good. The exit's frozen over. It's freezing everything. Damn. I've got to get out of here. All right. I'm a good. Let's see. So, make sure you save the game. I'm going to save before I left. Yeah! <laughs> he, he's coming after me. He's crazy. Like some sort of killing machine. And if I get caught, he's going to devour me alive. i got to find a way out of here. So, run real fast. Uh, make sure you watch your health. <laughs> I like how his, uh, his, uh, what is it called? His, I don't know what you call that. His class is straight dog. Alright, Iggy, drink some soda on the way, boy. I don't know where to go. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Got no joke. 
Got Diamond C. Thanks for the diamonds, boy. Anyway, make sure you uh, heal up on the way, because I have no clue how you're actually going to get through this. Without drinking so much soda, you get diabetes. I don't know where I'm going. He doesn't let up. If I keep taking damage like this. Fuck. Always, always keep on the run. I can take two hits. Come on. Got Diamond C. That was close. I should always check my health in case. I think he's taking about 30 damage each. Every time he uses his attack. Uh, I need to heal up. You know, who needs, who needs, like, anything when you've just got, like, a bunch of soda? It's my kind of- OH SHIT! Pet Shop wants to fight. I don't want to. Okay, book it, book it, book it. Book it, book it, book it. How do I get there? That looked like the exit, but I have no clue where I'm going still. Shit. Uh, hopefully I've got enough soda to pull through. But yeah, for some reason, leaving and re-entering the, uh, the, uh, the area makes it so that you can... D damn it! I can't keep up this thing for long. I don't want to be bird food. I've got to fight. I've got to find either find a way out or just beat him one on one. Come on, Iggy. You gotta run, run, run. Get around. I get around. Yeah, get around, round, round. I get around. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to. I can't find it. It's a maze, really. I mean, I think that's the point. It's meant to like put you on edge the entire time. Have I been here before? I've been here before. I could just tell. I was like, I've been here before. I've been here before as well. I need to figure out where I'm going. Damn it. Leave me alone. Shit. Ah, wh what? My foot. It's stuck in the ice. I can't pull it out. Cree, scree. Nah. Grin. In a river outside the sewer. Uh, uh. My paw. Ow, my paw. I had to cut it off. I'd die otherwise. I'll just hide here for a while. Speedwagon Foundation can make me a new one later, anyway. That bird's really gotten on my nerves. He's gonna pay! Huh? That sound! Something jumped into the water! It's... it's swimming straight towards me! It's speeding this way! It can't be! Ah! Hmm? Pet Shop is grinning from the other side of the ice! It's that bird! How can a bird swim? That that's impossible! Something's coming. It's more icicles. Three of them. Send them back to their owner, the fool. One of the icicles pierced Pet Shop's left wing. Scree! <laughs> gotcha. Take that, you bastard. Ah, sorry, I was taking a drink of water. Throat's getting fucky. What? That's weird. The water sto suddenly stopped flowing in. And the ice is spreading. What's happening? Hmm? Now I get it. It froze the water around me. I'm trapped. Ah, uh, the oxygen's been cut off. I won't even have enough time to- I won't even have enough time to, to suffocate. This rate, I'm gonna be crushed. The shelter's falling apart. I can't support this much ice. There's nowhere for me to run. I thought I'd be home free in the water, but I ended up entombing myself. I... I've got to dig out my way out. Ugh, today is not my day. It's tough to dig with one paw. This bird's just too strong. This is it. The shelter's through. If I don't hurry, I'll be squashed. I've got to keep digging. Ah! Thud. Huh? 
Huh? There's an opening here. It's that fucking bird again! Pet shop opened its mouth to fire another missile. Damn, it's gonna shoot! The fool is behind me. I can't defend with it. There's no escaping this tunnel! I've got it. There's only one thing to do. It's do or die time. I'll let the water in on purpose and dive at him using the jet. Ah! Ah! Iggy dove at Pet Shop and bit down hard on his beak. Hmm? 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 The ice missile went off inside Pet Shop's body. I... I did it. I got him. Take that. You damn bird. But... Uh, uh, I'm... done for. I bled too much. I don't have the strength to swim to shore. I'm... gonna drown. My life... was supposed to be peaceful. Damn. This... sucks. Wah! <sighs> Woo! It's a good thing I was on the riverbank and saw you drowning. That that bird must have hurt you, just like my dogs. It's okay. That bird's gone now. Don't die on me. I'll get you fixed up. That must have been like a happy scene, but the music made it sound like I was in actual hell. Hmm. What's wrong, Jotaro? Is someone following us? No. Someone's calling out to us. What? Hmm. Ha. 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 Iggy? Iggy! What happened to you? He's got injuries all over his body. Did he get hit by a car? Hmm? He. Hey. He lost his front paw. That's no traffic accident. You were attacked by an enemy, weren't you, Iggy? Looks like someone's took care of his injuries, though. They're not all poorly, may I add. Hey, guys. I don't think that's what Iggy's voice was calling out to us. Looks like Iggy ran into the enemy. He was very near death when I found him by a, by a young boy. Luckily, the Speedwagon Foundation doctors took care of him. <sighs> Just like they did with my eyes. Ah, you're Kakyoin! Hey, if it isn't Kakyoin, we missed you! It's good to see everyone unharmed. Well, hey, are you sure your eyes are okay? Have they healed? Yes, they should be fine. There's some scarring, but my vision's as good as new. I don't remember Kakyoin's voice, I just know I did a very whimsy version of him. Jotaro. Hmm. Iggy. Hmm? Hey, Iggy! Where you going? Iggy doesn't care much about humans or stands, but I think he's trying to lead us somewhere. I don't know what kind of stand he encountered, but he doesn't look happy. The, this car! It's the one the beggar was driving! Or at least, what's left of it. Whoa, I'm breaking into a cold sweat all of a sudden. That kind of rattles your nerves. Where is Iggy taking us? I think I already know. This atmosphere, this feeling of darkness. This mansion, it's the one from the picture. Icky, you found it? He's here. Jotaro, I can feel it in my bones. He's in this house. Now, our journey has finally reached its destination. The doors opened easily. It was locked tight yesterday. What should we do? So, what happens uh, at this point? Uh, okay. I'm trying to see what happens. Once Pet Shop is over, uh... Uh... Hmm. Trying to see what happens. Uh, okay.
Um, there seems to be, at this point, there seems to be, uh, like, something we can do here. There is a boss rush where you can fight all of, uh, like, all of the bosses you've seen thus far. But, uh, there's, like, other endings you can take. Uh, let's see. Scribe Annie. I don't know who that is. Uh, um, I'm trying to see what happens. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen. Because you can, if you decide to go back now, different routes can be then accessed. But I kind of just want to do this ending. What is, what is this? Uh. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh... I'm trying to see what's happening, because we could, like, stop here, and then do other endings. But I don't know if I wanna... I don't know if I wanna. Uh, hmm. We could just do the regular ending here, but there is a way for a different ending. Uh, hmm. I don't know what my uh, friendship points are at this point. Let's see. Uh hmm. You need a lot of stuff to happen. Uh What's I think we should just go right in. We already have a save beforehand if we want to uh like, go back and do any other ending at any point in the future. But for now, I think it's just a good idea to go with the ending that is here. So, let's just go. What should we do? We go right in. Yes. But just as I can sense him, he can sense us as well. He knows we're here. This is the belly of the beast. We can't go un in unguarded. Now. Hmm? The door opened. Be careful. There's not a soul inside. Watch out, Potoref. Someone could attack at any time. Hey, look! It's a lot of rooms. Look at this hallway! I can't see the end of it. Is it some kind of optical illusion? Don't rush headlong into danger, Potoref. Dio probably has at least one or two stand users guarding him. What? Something's coming. Who's this asshole? A stand user? Welcome, esteemed Mr. Joestar. Pardon my tardiness. I am this mansion's attendant. Who's this freak? He, he's definitely not normal. Can we just kill him? Boner F, let's not jump to conclusions. My name is Darby. Terrace T. Darby. I'm the younger brother of the Darby you fellows incapacitated not long ago. Now, if we make our way inside, please take off your jackets. You mean, you're that gambler's Darby's brother? Are you out for revenge? Oh my goodness, no. Didn't my brother tell you? When you cheat, it's your fault for being cheated. That's, that was his belief, and I must say I agree wholeheartedly. He's the one at fault for failing to defeat you. I hold no grudge whatsoever. I'm not my brother's keeper. My only aim is to, lo to protect Lord Dio. Besides, he's ten years my elder. I respect him greatly, but we're from different eras. His way to cheat, pe cheat, cheat people, yes, to cheat people in order to win, 
That's a thing of the past. Only amateurs would be taken in by such trickery. Lord Dio knew as such himself. That's why I'm the one who stays in the mansion with him. So, what do you say? Should you wish to challenge me? Step into the mansion. Don't fall for it, everyone. This has to be a trap. We don't have much time to fight. Fight for our souls. Take us to Dio. Now. Jotaro, be careful! Something's coming out! Pardon me, but my stand is much different from my brother's. Its name is Atom. Whoa, whoa! He brought out his stand! Don't see that a lot. Been a while since we met an enemy who brings out their stand right and out in front of us. So, who's my first challenger? This is getting boring. Jotaro, kick his ass. Star Platinum! I wager... That Star Platinum is going to hit me with its left fist first. Hmm? Hmm? There's a lot of hmm going on. The first punch will be with your left. That's my bet. Totoro, who cares about what fist you hit him with? You can just take him out in one punch with your strength. Just do it! Hurry! Hurrah! Hmm? What? He dodged it! Impossible. He was able to match Star Platinum's speed. He's shockingly fast. No, it's not his speed. Normally he wouldn't be able to match up to mine. He dodged before I even swung at him, which means he knew I was going to attack him with my right. Even though he bet on my left fist, he knew I was going to hit with my right. Why? Adam grabbed hold of Star Platinum's arm. My, what a shame. Seems I lost that bet. Just like my brother, I'm not fond of gambling. Just like my brother, I'm fond of gambling. But I'm not as nearly as good as him. <laughs> Allow me to take you someplace nice. A large hole open up on at Jotaro's feet. What? A hole? Damn! It really was a trap! He's going to pull us in! Jotaro! Hierophant Green! Jotaro fell in! We have to pull him out! Uh, okay, so you can either pull him out or I guess do something else. Uh, I want to see what- I don't know which route I might want to take. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where I should go. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Uh, okay. I'm trying to see something real quick. Everybody, wait a second. I don't know which route to take, because one leads you to a fight, one leads you to a different fight. I don't know. Uh... Uh... Let's see. Uh. Hmm. Uh, okay. I think I'll jump in after Joe Terrell. From the knowledge I have, I don't think it's a good idea to go to the other side, so... We're gonna pull him out! Jotaro! Besides, he's the one I stuck with the entire game. Oh well, I suppose you can come too. What? Ah! Mr. Joestar! Kakuin! Jason! Wait, Ponoref! It's too dangerous to go after them! Avdol! Can you hear me? Avdol! Hmm? That's Mr. Joestar's voice. He's taking quite a fr She's, he's talking well in freefall. If you don't hear from us in ten minutes, burn this mansion down! Got it! Avdol! Mr. Joestar! Save the game. I will save right... Don't save on this. Don't save on this. Uh, we're gonna save on... Probably just like a new one at the very end. After all the saves I made at the, uh... Oh, it looks like you can only have 15 saves. Wasn't that funny? <laughs> oh, damn. Well, anyway, uh, even if we're right here, we're going to end this, end the episode. So, next time on 7th Stand User, we're going to go ahead and figure out why this guy has a bunch of Super Nintendos put onto a desk in the middle of a, uh, you know, buttfuck nowhere. So, I'll see you guys next time.